Action News Investigates has learned state police are targeting Pittsburgh area firefighters who are using illegal lights on their personal cars. But firefighters are pushing back. Now, investigative reporter Paul Van Osdal with how they claim strict enforcement of the law could put them and the public at risk. We're talking about the blue lights that some volunteer firefighters use when they're trying to get to the station in a hurry. And the red lights that volunteer and paid fire chiefs have in their personal vehicles. Now, the recent enforcement actions by police have raised alarm bells with local firefighters. When East Carnegie Fire Chief Adam Cower runs his lights, he's hard to miss. Now you have it covered here, and then you have it covered down on the running boards, and then you come back around front and you have it. There's only one problem. Anything you see interior mounted on this vehicle is illegal. And that means most of the lights. Cower only found out his lights were illegal a few months ago when he got a visit from state police. The trooper issued warnings to Cower and two of his volunteers who were using blue lights like this one mounted inside their vehicles. Did you have any idea that the law prohibited these lights? No. Um, you know, we blatantly wouldn't disobey a law. In the past few months, state police say they've issued 25 warnings to Western Pennsylvania firefighters for using illegal lights. It almost looks like they're, they're lighting it up for Christmas. We're noticing these vehicles and um, we're, we're taking action by issuing them a written warning to let them know, let's get this right so no one is in danger. Trooper Mungo says the concern is the interior lights can make firefighters look like undercover police. I'm not saying that the volunteer firefighters are attempting to impersonate a police officer, but the uh, perception that the general public has, they don't know the difference. And it could be a dangerous situation. Anything you see. But Cower worries the public would be in greater jeopardy if he follows the law, which only allows a single light on the top of firefighters' personal vehicles. I think it'd be less safe. I mean, the updated modern lighting is much better. Uh, it's much brighter. It's not just volunteers. This vehicle used by Pittsburgh Fire Chief Daryl Jones also has illegal lights. When Action News Investigates asked him about it, he checked with the city law department. They reviewed it and told me that my lights do not meet the standard by having the uh, emergency lights inside the cab of the vehicle. So I immediately ordered new replacement lights. Mount Lebanon Fire Chief Nick Sohida said he too needs to get a new light package to comply with the law. It's very well lit, but it does not comply because it does not have a 360 degree light mounted to the roof. The lighting law does not just apply to firefighters. Action News Investigates found several city public works vehicles with illegal interior lights, including this one used by the public works director. It has a light attached to the visor. I just don't know what the uh, requirements are with regards to lighting. But we certainly want to be in compliance, absolutely. Our laws are just maybe 20 years behind. State Representative Dan Miller has heard enough complaints from fellow firefighters that he is sponsoring a change to the light law. We want them to have the right stuff they need to keep everybody safe when they're responding. Right now, the bill filed by Miller would only affect vehicles with red lights, those used by fire and EMS chiefs. But some volunteer firefighters are also pushing for changes to the blue light law. Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.